Hey, hey, welcome back, MWU family. I'm going to sit this here today. I want you to pause it and read it, and then we're going to get back to it. We're going to jump right into today's video. With regard to food shortage, yes, we did so talk about food shortages. And, uh, and it's going to be real. The, the price of these sanctions is not just imposed upon Russia. It's imposed upon an awful lot of countries as well, including European countries and our country as well. And uh, because both uh, Russia and Ukraine have been the breadbasket of Europe in terms of wheat, for example, just give one example. But <clears throat> we had a long discussion uh, in the G7 with, uh, um, the, uh, with both uh, the United States, which has a, as a significant, the third largest producer of wheat in the world, as well as Canada, which is also a major, major producer. And we both talked about how we could increase and disseminate more rapidly food, food shortages. And in addition to that, we talked about uh, urging all the European countries and everyone else to end trade restrictions on, on sending uh, lim limitations on sending food abroad. And so we are in the process of working out with our European friends what it would be, what it would take to help alleviate the concerns relative to uh, food shortages. We also talked about a significant major U.S. investment, among others, in terms of providing for the need for humanitarian assistance, including food, as we move forward. All right, y'all, leave it down in the comments below of what you think about that. One thing to remember is once things hit the mainstream media, things are definitely far more worse than what they're saying it is. Now, the president is talking about the food shortages, um, the effect that the war is going to have on everybody. This goes further than just the war, the food shortages. There's something else up. I can't tell you what is up, but there's something definitely up. And I believe in the near future, we're not going to have access to a lot of stuff. So being that it's available now, get what's left now. Stock up on what's left now. I'm going to go ahead and read something to you guys. Make sure y'all read this over here. This is just basically saying some of the items where wheat is found. So these are some items that you might want to get. Um, definitely up to you. It is your choice. This is just some of the items. Let's go ahead and jump into this reading. All right. So I'm going to leave the link to any article that I do read for you guys. I'm going to leave all of that in the description box below. So if you want to read the full article, you can take your time out and also read the article. It's very informative to me at least. And of course, any information shared here on this channel is solely my opinion and everyone has a right to have their own so let's get right into it. Usually when you see pictures like this, it's usually from the, um, what is it? Save the children organizations and things like that. And honestly, something like this here can hit home real soon. If this is something that you're not used to, trust me when I say this, all around the world can be looking a bit like this, what you're seeing here now. All right. So world leaders urged to halt escalating hunger crisis as 17% more people expected to need life-saving aid in 2022. All right. So it seems this picture was taken December 2nd, 2021, right outside of London. Let's get to reading. A group of 129 governmental organizations has joined forces and an open letter calling on world leaders to do more to halt a devastating global hunger crisis. As new analysts shows, the number of people likely to be in need of humanitarian aid in 2022 could rise by 17%. When I say more people will go hungry in 2022, way more than 17% of people will go hungry in 2022. To quote me on that. All right. So if you don't know anything about world hunger, trust me, it's going to become more familiar 
because the price of food is rising so fast, the normal household cannot afford groceries. That's why I always tell people prep little by little, buy little by little, so you can always just have something extra. Y'all hear the baby sleeping in the background, y'all. Um, but it's very important. This is going to be the new familiar. And we just going to have to keep praying about it. Um, all right. The Global Humanitarian Overview 2022. Released today by the United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, which is OSHA, O-C-H-A. Warned that 274 million people could be in need of humanitarian assistance next year. With the world currently battling the worst hunger crisis this century. This is up from 235 million people in 2021 and 168 million from 2020. Listen to this. The worst hunger crisis this century. Remember, they were saying, oh, it's going to get better. There's nothing to worry about. Now they're coming out saying, oh, the food shortages you know, China's hoarding food to make sure that their people is good. And listen, the government will tell you anything. And this here should be a warning. He's practically saying it. Biden warns U.S. food shortages are going to be real because of Ukraine invasion. This is further than the Ukraine invasion. It goes further than the war. Trust me, y'all. This is coming out now because it's been happening. This stuff been planned. And this is why I'm saying that it will only get worse. We have access to food now. We have access to water now. Why not stock up now? I mean, like right now. Because soon everything will be controlled. We will not have access to it. And I'm telling you all. Quote me on this. We would not have access to our own food and water. Everything would be controlled. Everything would be given in quantities. And they ain't going to care about the quality. Trust me. Let's go ahead. Like I said, we'll continue to just pray about it. Because whatever is going to happen is definitely going to happen. We cannot act like it ain't because it is. Um, Just go ahead and continue to love on your people. Live your life to the fullest. And let's just do what we have to do. Go on and keep on stocking up because why not? What's the worst that can happen? Oh, you have extra food to survive off of. You have extra wa extra water to survive off of. That's the only thing that can happen at this point. Um, Thank you all for tuning in. I definitely appreciate all of your support. Make sure you all stay prepped, stay blessed, stay safe. Today is Friday. We're going to go off and have a beautiful weekend because that's what we do. Um, And I hope you all enjoy too. Make sure y'all get y'all weekend preps on. Get them on. I got a few weekend stock ups. I'm going to edit these videos so y'all can see what I've been doing over here. And thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. You all stay beautiful, queens and kings. Y'all hear the baby snoring in the background. It's all good. Y'all know how I do over here. And it is what it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and consider subscribing. If you've been here before, what is up, family? And remember, if you can, make sure you stock in your food. Make sure you stock in your supplies. And make sure you're just having a good time. Create memories, laugh more, love on your people more, and just make sure you are doing what you have to do. I appreciate all of you. Peace.